13 and 0 had everything their way Peyton Manning and company at home field meanwhile Ben Roethlisberger and company were 7 and 5 at one point at Pittsburgh but they're the hot team and they came out throwing the Steelers came out throwing somebody said it this morning to heat Miller for 36 yards and from the sixth Roethlisberger to Antoine Randall L very smooth 7 nothing lead first drive Tom yeah the, the Pittsburgh Steelers changed the game plan for this game well the Colts come back but the Steelers defense they were changing the Colts game plan that's Chris Hope breaking it up three and out Peyton Manning and the Colts second possession any on third and seven this time Manning time in the pocket but well you know a lot of things have been going on for the Colts rust they're not gonna say hey we weren't rusty but they looked a little out of sync put it that way Meanwhile, in sync was Roethlisberger to Heinz Ward, 45 yards. That's a third and 10 completion. And Nick Harper, who is quite a story, questionable, although he actually played very well. A stab wound allegedly applied by his wife, and he was in and out of the game. Yeah, hurt his knee, but he would return. Meanwhile, into the end zone is Miller. Roethlisberger to Heath Miller, touchdown 14-0 to the chagrin of Tony Dungy and the happiness of El Steelers putting a lot of pressure. Tom, they had five sacks. Yeah, Kimo Von off and coming up the middle of the football field, putting pressure on Manning. And then James Ferrier off that edge, coming around the corner. You take a look at this replay. Just watch as he's coming. The guard is coming outside. We call this dual protection. Just couldn't get there quick enough for a linebacker like James Ferry. And a lot of times it wasn't all blitzing. Steelers enjoying a 14-0 lead. And now second quarter, Colts at their own 17-yard line. Indy finally gets a go and play action. It's Dallas Clark put a couple of big passes today. Colts on the move all the way down to the one yard line. Third and goal and whoop, false start. Tarek Glenn and Tony Dungy certainly knows. Oh no. So now then the Steelers have penalty halfway. And then it's Edger and James from the three stuffed. And so instead of a touchdown after the two minute warning, that to settle for a field goal. 14 3 Pittsburgh at the half. Now Colts ball deep in their own end. With over five minutes to go in the third quarter, Manny, oh my goodness, it's a safety. Ruled just in the field of play. One of five sacks. But a lot of times, it, it, it seemed like they just couldn't pick it up, Tom. Meanwhile, now you passed. Now you're going to run with the bus. Jerome Bettis, this is classic. Yeah, Jerome Bettis getting north-south as quick as he can. He's not wasting any motion to the outside. Straight line to the goal line. And then you think from the one, yeah, he might get it in 21-3. to The Steelers, huge underdogs on the road at Indy, and they're all over the befuddled Indianapolis Colts. The Steelers playing with a big-time game plan on both sides of the ball. Just at the end of the third quarter, complete to Edgerin James a pass from Peyton Manning and the punt team was on the field but Peyton himself Tom waved them off and Tony Dungy said well you call the plays might as well call that play and on fourth and two maybe just maybe this was the jump start Brandon Stokely first down same drive now fourth quarter from the 50 Manning to Dallas Clark what Runs around, Paula Marlu shakes a tackle, and the tight end is gone. It's 21 to 10. Here they come. Colts get the ball back now with six minutes to go. And Manning. Oh, Troy Palomalu, who plays so huge all game and all season, has a great interception. But wait a minute now. This was bizarre, Tom. We're gonna see. He has it, rolls over, and whoop. Look, and they call it no. You know, no interception. If, if an interception is about establishing possession, then Troy Palomalu had an interception here. You watch him clearly have the football, tuck it, have the ground. As he starts to get up, his knee knocks it out. There's an odd rule about establishing possession with your knee off the ground. It's anyway, they reverse rule. the call. Steelers don't get the ball. Maintain possession to Colts. It's the interception uh, equivalent of the tuck rule. So with a big break, it's Reggie Wayne catching this one from Peyton Manning. First and goal, Edger and James punches it in. 21-16, down by five with four and a half to go. They got to go for two. You want to talk about a big play after a false start penalty. Manning to Reggie Wayne anyway, getting the feet in, dragging it beautifully. It's 21-18 on the two-point conversion. Under three minutes to go. Here's Nick Harper with a big play. And so the Colts have forced a punt. 
Gordock had a pretty darn good game, and so did Joey Porter. How about Dick LeBeau bringing the blitz when some teams would play prevent? Now we're third and 16. And the overthrow to Brandon Stokely. Fourth and 16. Even though you're in the shadow of your own goal post, you got to go for it. Steelers hoping one more play defense. Watch Paul Amalu and Porter. Think they're laying back, Tom, and prevent? Oh, I don't think so. Ba boom, ba boom. It's over. Peyton Manning sacked in his own two. And now, yes, they have three timeouts left. So rather than kneel on it, you got to get the touchdown and end it. All they got to do the big is get in the end zone. And so the bus, he hasn't fumbled. Remember, at one point in his career, 220 straight times. But no, it's a fumble. Nick Harper has the ball. The 20, the 30. Ben Roethlisberger somehow makes the play. Yeah, as you take a look at the replay, you're going to see Gary Brackett put his hat right on the football. Ball's out. Nick Harper puts it up, picks it up, starts downfield. People, you have to understand what a great play this is by Ben Roethlisberger. This shows you that the athlete that he is does an open turn instead of the quick turn, still manages to get enough of Nick Harper to bring him down, and that saved the Steelers' season. This could be Jerome Bettis' last carry as a Steeler, and that's a be remembered. Oh, my goodness, it's Manning to Wayne, 22 yards. Tick, 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 under a minute to go. Manning to Marvin Harrison, pretty much blanked on this afternoon by the Pittsburgh defense. He only had two catches, but that's eight yards. Bettis can only hope for the defense. 31 seconds to go. Second and two. The Colts, we don't want a tying field goal. We want to win. To Reggie Wayne, but Brian McFadden is there with great defense, although Wayne almost comes down with the football anyway. Look. Whoop. He almost caught this ball three times. McFadden, great play to keep it out. Now third and two, 25 seconds to go. This time, Pittsburgh is there. Oh, almost, but not quite picked off, which means... Mike Vanderjack, one of the most accurate kickers in the history of the game, has a chance from 46 yards to put this thing in overtime. You figure, at home in the dome where he's almost automatic. The snap is down, the kick is up, and it... Whoa! Man! Not even close! Vanderjack even penalized for throwing the helmet. He... he missed it, said Coach Dungy. He missed it, said Peyton. He, he missed it, said Bill Cower. He missed it! said the bus you're right he did miss it tom well, you just look at how wide right oh. it is uh, left it open like you leave a golf club open ball's gonna fly right so stunned in indianapolis thrilled in pittsburgh relief for the bus thrilled in denver because they're hosting the championship game it's not so much they want to play pittsburgh they just want